Hey, 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 welcome to Green Racer Reviews. Check out what we're checking out today. Well, this is the Mr. Heater 70,000 BTU Radiant Heater. They call it the Portable Kerosene Heater. Model number MH70KTFR. We have an assistant to help. So this thing's pretty cool. It runs on kerosene, diesel, JP8, or fuel oil. So let's check it out. Okie dokie. Brand new. Oh yeah, I was going to do a time lapse for this. So since everybody hates unboxing, just going to do a time lapse. There we got it all put together. Got the, got the front protective face on it. That's what we'll call it. The grill grate. And then I didn't put the bottom heat reflector on. So I wanted to see how it was first. And then it came with extra fuel filter. And then a rubber gasket for must be the drain plug on the bottom of the fuel tank so yeah so it looks like it's been test fired because it's got some coloration already yeah and then i noticed in the in the fuel tank yeah yeah, nice little pickup screen. And then you gotta line up the two grooves for the cap to go back in. Yep, yep. Pretty cool. So let's get some, and then oh, it's got a fuel gauge down there, and there's your fuel filter, unlike some of the other models where they have it all in the back there but this is the only model with a the thermostat so that was why I chose this one yeah because my building is heated but and and very well insulated so a really nice owner's manual even gives you breakdown what to do how to start it uh, service codes I, really, I just wanted to go through this because it's pretty well put together electrical breakdown and parts diagram uh, I, I wish they list part numbers though but supposedly you just go on on Mr. Heater's site to get all that so All right, let's throw some fuel in it and see how it works. OK, 
Okay, here goes nothing. I brought it over here. It's a few feet from everything. Got my extension cord. I'll plug it in. I'm gonna turn it on. temperature or flip the switch and then it'll run for approximately three minutes to cool down and then you can unplug it but don't unplug it until it goes through a shutdown cycle but yeah that thing literally is as quiet as a box fan I'm not quite sure why some, some things call these ceramic when that's a stainless steel in my face. Feel more heat here than you do right here. That's kind of weird. Huh. Yeah, I ran it for about a little 20, 25 minutes or so and it worked flawlessly. I'm probably gonna am gonna put this deflector on. So probably get that on at some point. So to turn it off, I just I turned it down to 50, and then once it switched back, then it went down to the shutdown cycle, ran for a good few minutes, and. It's still a little warm right here. It's actually almost hot right here. This side's not as warm, but. Uh, yeah, pretty freaking cool. Well, thanks for watching, and you guys have a great day. Thank you.